It is cocktail hour here in Brussels, and that means they had time to do that family photo that you're talking about, the famous vision of all the NATO leaders gathered together. And, of course, we saw the president and the first lady arriving at NATO headquarters earlier today uh, for that cocktail party. Some shots uh, came out over the media of the president and Angela Merkel talking with the first lady, so it would be interesting to see what they said to each other privately. The president's been pressing Germany all day long, beginning uh, at breakfast when he said that Germany uh, was really held captive by Russia because of their energy deals with Russia and an oil pipeline, a gas pipeline uh, from Russia to Germany. The president also tweeting this afternoon his criticism of Germany and NATO. He said, what good is NATO if Germany is paying Russia billions of dollars for gas and energy? Why are there only five out of 29 countries that have met their commitment? The U.S. is paying for Europe's protection, then loses billions on trade, must pay 2% of GDP immediately, not by 2025. The president, the White House tells us, also pushed those NATO leaders privately to ramp up their spending to 4%, not just the agreed upon 2% figure. So that met with, I guess you would call this a tepid response from the NATO Secretary General. Take a listen. Well, I will focus on the, what we have agreed, and we have agreed to uh, be committed to the uh, uh, pledge uh, increasing defence spending to 2%. And uh, let's start with that. Uh, so we have a way to go, and, uh, and, but the good news is that we have really started uh, to deliver. So Jens Steltenberg there uh, suggesting that there's not going to be a whole lot of give here on the NATO side of this. They've agreed to 2%. They're going to try to get there for all of the countries over the coming years. Uh, but that 4% idea of the president seems to be dead in the water, at least in terms of the initial reaction uh, here in Brussels. Now, of course, the president's going to participate in a few more events tomorrow. It's on to England tomorrow. And then later in the week and early next week, uh, we're going to see the president in Finland, where he's going to meet with Vladimir Putin. And that is sort of the shadow that's been hanging over this NATO meeting here in Brussels throughout the day today and we can imagine that we'll see more discussion of the role of Russia here tomorrow in the sessions that begin very early in the morning. Tyler. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.